Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel, kicking it back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel content. Today we are catching up on the backlog once again, and we're going to be premiering Slifer the Sky Dragon in some ranked duels. This was one of the last decks that I did before I started doing some other content, so we have to revisit this deck and do some ranked duels with it so I can showcase off to you guys how the deck functions. It is a Numeron-based Slifer the Sky Dragon deck, and I think this is probably the most powerful version of Slifer the Sky Dragon, uh, with... A little bit of personal preference like tweaked in there uh, if you guys want to see this deck <laughs> click the uh, click the link down below you can go to the video and watch that but without further ado yes I am in silver uh, the season reset I have not had much of a chance to play this because I've been playing fighters Elden Ring work so much so many games so little time so we're still in silver but honestly the few matches I played in silver so far I've been against meta decks anyway so hey we're gonna get some good duels. That's all that matters. Let's get into our first match. I'll see you there. All right, here we are with our first opponent, Silver One. So he is on the grind. We win the coin toss and we want to go second. This is a going second deck. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. This is a going second deck. It can function going first, but you would know, if it's up to you, you want to go second. So let's see this hand. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Good fucking hand. All right. This is a phenomenal starting hand. So we have options. Um, ooh, what is this? Oh, he's playing Zexel. Uh, so I don't care if he just stops. Knowing Zexels, they're going to... This is a Utopia basic. Sorry. Knowing Utopia, they special summon a oh, shit ton. So truth be told, I don't really care. If he stops summoning right away, if he just sets it passes, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. So either he bricked or we stopped him. Uh, so we're going to activate Numeron Wall. Yeah, he does not have Ash Blossom. Nice. Nice. So we're going to do this. Yes, there we go. I was going to say, where's my draw? Nibiru. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, so let's do this. We're going to activate our Numeron Network Field spell. We are going to get out our little dudes. Unless he wants to stop this. No, he doesn't want to stop it. First gate. Second gate. I'm just putting them anywhere. Third gate. Fourth gate. There we go. All right. Skill drain. Lame, dude. You play a Utopia deck and you're playing skill drain? Ew. I have half a mind to Nibiru his ass right now. But I'm not gonna. We're gonna set Metal Reflect Slime and we're gonna punch him in the face. You're going to take 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. Oh, you know what? I should have brought out Sonya because skill drain, it wouldn't, yeah, it would have been 2,000. I could still do that regardless. Do they get banished? I don't think they get banished. Banish them during the end phase. Okay, that's fine. So you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get out Sunya anyway. Sunya's effect is not going to be able to activate because of skill drain, which is fine. I ain't worried about it. So let's get Sunya out. It's just at least at that point we'll have a monster on the field. Yeah, it's gonna get negated. That's perfectly fine. We'll have a monster on the field prepped and ready to go. Uh, because the rest of them are going to go away. Sunya is going to stay out in the field. So this is a 2k monster that we have out on the field. Fine. If he lightning storms us, honestly, he'd be pretty dumb. He'd be pretty dumb not to target my... Um... Wow, I am losing my train of thought. My spells and traps, honestly. Yeah, he should 1 million percent get rid of those. But we're going to see what he's going to do. We're going to see what he's going to do. 
nothing. Hmm. Fun. All right, well, we're going to set that. We're going to activate Metal Reflect Slime. It's fine. Let's get Metal Reflect Slime out of here. We are then going to bring about the big man himself, the Egyptian God Slime. Considering how fast this one is going, and um, he's playing a 60 card deck. I don't know if you saw me fucking do that. We're, we're probably going to find a third duel, uh, depending on how long the second one goes. I'm petty, so Sonya go first, and then Egyptian God Slime for the overkill. <laughs> All right, well, that's a, a quick little warm-up, I guess. But, I mean, you get to see primarily just how the deck functions. Going second is this deck's bread and butter. Like, you get Maxi in your hand. You get Numeron Wall. Um, we have all the cards. Hey, Silver Rank 3. All the cards that we have are made to stall until we can get this stuff out. So, it's basically an OTK stall deck. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, and that's kind of why it's so powerful. Like, they, they got to get through your defenses first. And then they have to somehow survive an OTK. And if they somehow survive that OTK, more than likely you're going to have Slifer in your hand to slap Slifer down. And then they got to get through Slifer. So it, it, that's really, really strong. Um, I, honestly, if you were to play Slifer the Sky Dragon, I would play either this or the Joker's Calling uh, version with the Kings, Queen, and Jack Knight. Uh, but this is the deck I went with, and it's been a ton of fun. Let's go find our next opponent. All right, here we are with our next opponent, Silver Rank 2. Hopefully, you're going to fare better than the Silver Rank 1. Uh, let me go second, please. Pretty please, with a cherry on top. And chocolate sprinkles, come on. Dude. Man, I even offered chocolate sprinkles with a cherry. Like, come on. All right, well, this will be a good opportunity to show just, uh, just to showcase the deck. That took a long time. <laughs> this will be a good chance to... Are we playing or what? A good chance to showcase what the deck can do going first. And holy shit, is this not a good hand at all. Sometimes this happens, but that's okay. Bro. Please disconnect. Silver rank two, baby. All right, here we are with our official next opponent. I'm going to keep that little snippet in there. Uh, all right, we're going second, baby. We're going second. Silver rank five. That's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, this deck, um, this deck heavily benefits going off of second. I was going to, I was going to be able to showcase you what I could do going first in that last duel. But hey, it is what it is. This hand is just as bad. Hey, at least he's playing less than 60 cards. <laughs> this hand is just as terrible, dude. Set one pass. Wow, what an... I'm sorry, guys. What an entertaining video. Reckless Greed. Once again. Um, well, all we can do is just set one pass. Now, fun fact about Reckless Greed. Always activate this after your draw phase. Never activate this during your opponent's turn. Never activate this as your turn starts or their turn ends. Wait for your draw phase. Draw your card. There you go. Please don't just set one pass. Oh, my God. No. Do not want to do that. Numeron Wall. That is a good card. All right. Now we're going to activate Reckless Green. We're gonna draw two cards. It's gonna skip our next two standby phases, but that that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and let's just activate Numeron Wall. Because I have Guardian Slime for anything that he wants to do. No Ash Blossom? No, 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 not the one I had. There we go. Alright. We already have a Numeron Calling in hand, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate this one 
just in the event that he has something to negate a spell or a trap. Which it doesn't seem like he does. So... I'll skip to when this is over. <laughs> All right, now we got we got our four boys out in the field. This is why Memories of Hope is insane. No, I don't want to activate Maxi. Oh. Should we do it? Let's see, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bro, how could I pass up the opportunity of summoning Slifer, the motherfucking Sky Dragon, right here with this many cards in my hand? Unfortunately, though, it's not going to be exactly... Um, 8,000? Because I am 1 million percent activating Mound of the Bound Creature. Uh, just in the event that he has, like, oh, I don't know, like, Mirror Force or something down there. Because, you know, people who tech in Mirror Force are a special kind of breed. So we're going to attack with this guy first. I want Slifer to get the last hit. He's got nothing. Hey, bro, you couldn't even let me... Can let the god finish his work. Damn, man, I want to at least get one good match in this video. I'm already civil two. <laughs> All right, let's go find our next opponent. Silver rank three, please. I'm begging you. Okay, I'm gonna ask you again. Pretty. I didn't even have to ask. What a guy. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. Yes, usually it's it's you let the other person go first to be considered a gentleman. But no, this guy's my gentleman for letting me go second. And I got an awful hand. <laughs> I would say this is probably one of the biggest problems with, with a Slifer built deck specifically. Um, reload. Okay, okay. Um, no, 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 no. No, listen. Listen. You stop this right now. You, you end your turn. You do nothing else. I'm watching you. Okay, maybe this is an Exodia. I don't know what the fuck this dude is playing. What in the hell? <laughs> uh, okay, this is fine. We're going to set Metal Reflect Slime. So this is pretty much right here... So the hand that I have now is basically the the stall aspect of the deck. Uh, I don't have anything to activate. I don't have any of my numerons. I don't have it. I don't have my slifer. Um, so I have metal reflect slime. I have guardian slime. I have things to get out. Egyptian god slime, which can be my backup. So this this is why this is why the deck is as powerful as it is personally because like even though i don't have my offense just yet i have a defense to build a secondary a third a tertiary offense as uh they would say uh but do i want to let guardian slime come out or do i want to use metal reflex i'm just going to use metal reflex slime. let's save guardian slime let's keep a card in our hand just in case we draw slifer that's fine i don't know what he could have done what, did, what does curse bamboo sword do Oh, it just adds a different bamboo. What is this guy? What is this guy? What is he playing? Silver rank is a different breed out here. I don't know. All right. Doodle. Oh, Ow, guardian slime. All right. So, this is a massive risk. Because if Reckless Greed doesn't give me something I can use I lose my next two draw phases but what is Yu-Gi-Oh without a little bit of a risk dude oh. all right <laughs> let's get out Egyptian God slime damn dude wow 
Bring him out. Bring out the guy. If Egyptian God Slime somehow goes down to this guy's setup, we have got two other Guardian Slimes to get Egyptian God Slime back out. So... How do you feel about getting punched in the face by a stand-in god? What do you got? What do you do? So what's this do? Its attack and defense become half of its current. Oh, you're still dying, dude. And, and Egyptian god slime can't get killed by battle, so... Sucks for you. Goodbye. Curse bamboo sword's gonna go off. There's going to be a golden bamboo sword. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And that's that. That is that. Oh, I have to discard? How dare you? Um, I don't think we need two memories of hope, to be perfectly honest. You can only activate it once per turn, and I don't think I need to draw more than four. Um, but I'm kind of... I need to actually hope he starts special summoning shit. Cause Does he not have an extra deck? He just scoops. <sighs> All right. I'm still going to make this a video anyway, but maybe I should have gotten the gold. <laughs> let's go. Let's go find just one more opponent and just hope. Uh, I did actually try to record one last final match that actually went on for a whole half hour and literally nothing happened because both of us bricked and I did not think that was going to be entertaining and without much time to continue recording the matches that we have so far we kind of got to leave off there uh, but I was able to showcase to you guys um, what the deck can really do uh, you got to see the Numeron combos you got to see the Cypher combos uh, even though the, our opponents didn't really put up much of an opposition, we were still able to showcase the combos. I will be returning with this deck. Don't y'all worry. Um, like I said, I haven't had much of a chance to play this game to get to gold, but now I know to play, to not record one of these matches until I'm in goddamn gold. <laughs> so, that'll wrap it up for me on this one. Uh, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the deck down below. Uh, and let me know what, what other decks that you guys would like to see. I would like to see, you know, some personal contenders. I am never going to build a deck I have absolute no personal interest in. But I'm ready to collect some collective thoughts, you know, and see what you guys, uh, what some other people would, out there would like to think, uh, see and think. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. See you.